Hey everybody, what's going on? Hard to believe it's been uh, so long since that Wombat project. Hey, I want to say thanks to all the great comments I had on the video so far. And uh, as a hobbyist and not a professional at this, it's uh, really appreciated. But uh, I think it's time we get going on a new project. Let's see what we have on the lift. Nineteen seventy Super Rat. Remember the first time seeing one of these? What a beauty! Hey, let's take a look at the history on this great little machine. The Hodaka Super Rat is the best-known Hodaka model and an icon in the dirt bike world. The Model Ninety Three was produced in nineteen sixty-nine and nineteen seventy. It has a strong lineage to the Ace One Hundred. It used the same basic Ace One Hundred frame, but with better forks and shocks. Using the same transmission with five-speed, but different primary gear ratios a rear non-cushion hub with a 420 chain, and the enlarged air cleaner. The Model 93A came in 1971. It came with improved forks, exhaust pipe, a cushion rear hub with larger rear brake, and an improved air box design. The frame was the same as the previous model. The 93B in 1972 added a reinforced swing arm and tuned exhaust with spark arrestor meeting U.S. forestry requirements. These small bikes thrived in the harsh environment of the Southern California desert. Skimming over the sand washes and dodging bushes, they were always a front runner in the trail bike class, and many times embarrassing larger bikes at the end of a 100 mile race. Hodaka's R&D guru, Harry Taylor, had been building race bikes from the Ace 90 and Ace 100 for scrambles, TT, road racing, and trials, so there was no shortage of his input in developing of the 100cc Special Racer as the first prototypes were called. That name Super Rat came jokingly. As the first bikes came labeled 100SR, Roger Phillips from the parts department asked, does that stand for Super Rat? That there was the beginning of the animal cartoon characters for the rest of the models. Lastly is the Model 98, manufactured in 1974. Here the model no longer has the distinctive chrome tank and red frame. The new Super Rat is a whole new bike. As noted in motocross action tests, they said, the Super Rat is the state of the art in the 100cc class. Hey, I can't wait to dig into the project. Next time we're going to take a closer look at what we have to work with. Make a decision if we do a full restoration or do a resurrection of a survivor. Join me next time. Thanks for watching.